Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Moonfall, a Roland Emmerich movie. He also created Independence Day 2012, Independence Day Resurrection, and multiple other disaster movies. He claimed to be the king of disaster. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and let's get straight into the video. But obviously, spoilers ahead if you haven't checked this out. Enjoy. So, Moonfall features three well-established actors, Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson, and John Bradley West. And, you know, the best way I can say this film is, this film was a very, very good film for, like, three quarters of it. It was, it felt as realistic as it could possibly be, when it's obviously unrealistic in the sense of what we know in the world, um... And then it became really stupid because there was a mega structure within the mood and then there was AI and then it turns out it was a galactic battle between this thing that had destroyed Patrick Wilson and Halle Berry's ship at the start and then that had attacked him later on when they were doing more research. As a disaster film goes, it was brilliant, you know, the, the threat level was there, but I still think Earth should have been destroyed because it kept on flying around and around. It just some reason people were surviving weird scenarios like some of the kids or some of the people involved with family members um there's a scene where they got lifted in the air and they flew into the cave um it, some some scenes are very questionable but then you, you can't read too much into those scenes because it's already far-fetched in the sense of the moon is basically scraping up against the earth instead of being you not know, incinerating it um it's uh <laughs> the acting was brilliant you know the, the way they were talking about science it was a very good thing you know how they portrayed nasa to be quite devious and misleading in the sense of they were hiding the truth in regards to patrick wilson's astronaut status they'd make that friction between halle berry and patrick's character um, I think I think John was a standout character, and his, and his sacrifice at the end was brilliant, and it sort of made it sort of we sort of saw that all the way, all the way through the film what kind of character he was. You know, he was caring for his mom. He did the talk for the astronaut, and he was actually letting the kid hit. You could see the kids were intrigued and listening. Um, he was taking photos in space and he was doing all these things and joking around. And we've seen him as Samuel Tarly in Game of Thrones. I saw him in the Rare World Children. John Bradley West brings characters alive in such a human way. He's so kind hearted. He's so nice. He's so brilliant. He's a great actor. Um, and the same can be said. I mean, I didn't even recognize Halle Berry. She, she's definitely aging, but Patrick Wilson. He's a, he's a, he's a favourite of mine. I do love him in this, you know, Conjuring and everything else spinning. I think he just knows what to do when it, these sort of films are great. The side cast, they did bits and bobs. Um, nothing more they could do. Um, it's like when the military went to the, um, into the bunker. I'm sort of thinking, if the world's going to die, going underground is not going to help. But, um... It was a weird film. They literally just stopped the moon at the end and then it just sort of went back into its original uh, its original flow of the earth. It was a bit... I don't know, when you only think about it, some aspects of this film are really stupid. Some of the film is really well done. Um, you know, the end bit where they're in New York and it's full of ice. It gave you that the Death of Tomorrow vibes. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to put this film into the best perspective I can, but it's hard to think about because um, I remember watching this yesterday and thinking, oh, this is such a really good film. I'm intrigued. I'm loving it. The pacing's good. Everything about this film was working for me. I love Patrick's role. I love Hallie's role. I love John's role. I love everything that's happening, you know, from NASA to the people to the fact they were, they were looting. The bit I didn't like was the fact that people try to kill each other during this time when you're all maybe should want to stick together. Um, it was really daft. Um, and, you know, humans are just shown in stupid ways in these films. Um, but, yeah, ultimately, I'm going to give Moonfall... <sighs> um... 7 out of 10, because the AI, 
and the galactic battle sort of ruined it for me. They made it too science fiction. They made it something like Lost in Space or um, Passengers or th th them things. This was, as I said, realistic to an extent. You know, they were making it as realistic as they could. You know, they're going to fire nukes. But then it came to this point of they were been involved in a galactic battle and this moon was a was a spaceship of sorts um yeah it was just it was weird but an emotional send off for john's character a great factor that Halley saved patrick at the end like patrick saved Halley at the end i thought it was a really cool um reflection of what had happened and how far these characters had gone in 10 years I loved how close Patrick came with his son in the film after he, you know, he got him out of prison and, you know, he was trying to put him on a better path. So, yeah, 7 out of 10 on Moonfall, a film I was really excited for. And I wasn't really disappointed. You know, as I said, there's issues with the film, but I'm not exactly disappointed. It's a very enjoyable disaster movie. It's, you know, it's one of the better ones, per se. Probably better than Greenland, uh, maybe. I don't know. It's always tough to compare. But, you know, I don't think it's on 2012's level because 2012 just was so captivating. Maybe the story was better in this, but they, um, I mean, he, the guy who wrote all of, you know, Independence Day 2012 and the rest of them. So he didn't do, he didn't not, he didn't do Greenland though. So um, you can see the similar similarities of all the other ones. There's little bits and bobs thrown in there from all the other ones. So yeah, if you were fan of disaster movies, like The Blast, that's the, that's, the main thing so hit the subscribe button leave a like and i hope you enjoyed moonfall i hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to stick around for more videos in the future until next time take care and goodbye